Bear Squad, what is up? Happy Tuesday. Listen, so we're at the uh, Ty Warehouse Randolph location for a collection today. And uh, it's a collection and a service. I'm going to have to start doing this on a regular basis because um, my software that I use, the Vensoft software, uh, wants me to enter cash flow and um, servicing at the same time in order to get accurate readings. So I'm gonna make sure that I do that from now on. A lot of you guys have actually suggested that I do that. Um, it hasn't been a disproportionate amount of people, but it's it's enough people that I just think it's a good idea to do collections in with our service videos. Now, uh, I'm gonna grab a couple things of Mountain Dew here because it just sells really well. We need this. <laughs> we honestly, we need to stock up a whole bunch of other stuff in this location anyways, but uh, we don't have the capital right now, so this capital boost is going to help. We're going to get more. Uh, we got to fill up our inventory. I got to go in Monday, which is yesterday at this point, and uh, pick up an order from my Coke bottler. I'm not sure if we ran into some trouble the last time I was filming there, so I don't think we're going to film there, but I'll take pictures and post it in the uh, community tab for everybody. Now we're gonna go right in here. Uh, this is about 35 minutes of a stop and uh, it's been shortened down to 20 minutes. And we've got our new snack machine. I'm wicked excited about the snack. Oh, it's broken. Great, it's broken. Wonder how many sales we missed out on there. So if you guys remember, I had to fix that lip when I first put this machine in. Uh, what I do you guys are going to see what I do. What I, what I do is I just rip that door right out. I, <laughs> that door just ticked me off and I was like, yep, that's enough of that. So, yeah, look at that. That's it's toast. The whole thing just fell apart. Top of the door fell in. So initially I was going to try and fix it again and then I was like, you know what? I don't think this is necessary. I don't think we really need it. We're just going to pull it out. And that thing is stuck in there. It's stuck in there good. So we got to figure out how to get that thing out. I push the door through. And it just doesn't want to come out. I just throw it in there. And then I saw those. I was like, what is, what is that? <laughs> so now that opens and closes on its own pretty well. And we don't have any sort of issues. Um, single coils and the uh, Oreos do not work. Found that out. <laughs> you should really, I mean, they, they work if you put them up there. I should have put them up there to begin with. I really wish I could get a hold of Pop Tarts. I can't get a hold of individually packed Pop Tarts. I can get them. And the silver packaging that doesn't tell you what they are <laughs> but that's the only way I can really get them right now um, I've had a lot not a lot of people there's like two or three people that consistently ask me to put pop tarts in the machines and uh, I think well maybe this is a good time to try it out I've got capital right now and uh, maybe I should just go ahead and order try an online order from uh, Amazon and or BJ's see if we can get some individually wrapped pop tarts um, if you guys could drop a link for me for Amazon for uh, the individually wrapped pop tarts the ones that you guys know for a fact are individually wrapped uh, that would be huge help because I'd really like to start putting those in the machines Although the, the chips work really well when you're trying to even stuff out. So what I do is I take a 50 count of these chips, right? I put them in there and then when we run out of a certain kind, I double up on the rest of them until they're all gone. I keep the machine looking full and uh, we're running through and entering all of our content into Vedensoft right now. You can see that uh, every column is going to have plenty and we'll, we'll maintain this every single week. You guys will be able to see as it sells out. I'm going to keep a low amount of chocolate in the machines from now on because we're going to be in there every week. 
and uh, we're still we're still pretty warm outside and I don't want the chocolate to melt inside the machines uh, my AP machines have fans in the back of them which I just figured out and I'm gonna start wiring up the fans and keeping the fans running I was wicked excited when I found out about that I was like no way so super stoked about that we're just going through um, this is the first time I've been able to uh, actually go through the inventory on this machine uh, the last time we serviced this machine we set up the inventory the initial inventory so this is the first time we're updating this machine and it's gonna be the first time that we uh, go through and collect on it I'm wicked excited too because on this location after filling up the Mountain Dew and the soda machine uh, I found out that the prediction software is incredibly accurate um, the prediction portion of um, look at that hold on look at that it's only like two weeks it doesn't look that thick but it's there's quite a bit there um, how much was in the snack hold on I'll look at it it was $51 in the snack machine that was pretty darn good I was pretty excited about that I had issues um, closing the door what it is is it's the lip the lip on the uh, I actually couldn't figure it out at first but the lip on the basket in the bottom is pushing up against the bottom shelf I messed with this thing for a little while trying to get it to do what I'm asking it to do never does <laughs> of course not why would it do that oh man I'm looking at it now I probably should have cleaned the window on that machine it looks like it's got some marks on it we'll clean it next weekend in all um, I film each and every location so you guys can get an individual view on what I do at each location I'm considering doing like a recap video I just I don't really want to overburden myself because I already spend quite a bit of time editing but uh, we're gonna count the money over here it's not a whole lot of people here I know I'm gonna get some critiques on this I'm sorry guys as soon as I have uh, the means to we'll find a way to make this work better uh, we have other things that are a little bit more important right now I'm trying to get under control so we've got Vensoft pulled up and we're gonna start counting money now and uh, I'll run through and try to get the money counted out real quick for you guys all right dollar bills down bring on the coinage just counted up that's a grand total of $51 with everything said and done in a minute here uh, the guy at the shop actually asked me if uh, he could get some ones from me I had exactly $40 in ones so we're gonna pull these out and he's gonna throw us a couple 20s I love it when that happens it doesn't happen often but when it does it's great saves a lot of room So he's over there pulling out a couple 20s for me we trade him up throw it in the bag I try I know you guys are super concerned about my safety and security so I try to uh, I try to keep things as secure as reasonably possible I really appreciate you guys uh, looking out for me um, and uh, 
just trying to give me tips and stuff on security. I am doing the best I can with what I got right now and I will purchase the uh, proper equipment to keep things as reasonably safe as possible. I do want to start counting the money before I move on to the next collection. I should probably get a scale for the change. It takes so long to count the change. I see a quick play uses a scale and I think that I should just do that same thing. Invest in a decent scale. Uh, so we're going to count up the product in this machine. See where we're at with what we've got. Count by twos in that row. You gotta learn to count by fours faster. <laughs> gotta count by fours in this row, or just count by two and then count it again, which is what I wind up doing. Or multiply the total by two, you can do that as well. We've got the old uh, Sunkist is completely empty. We've been out of Sunkist like half the month. I'm hoping we can find uh, decent deals in the grocery store for Sunkist. We need like. God, I think we need to buy, that's two cases alone right there. And then we've got another location that needs a case, that's three cases. Hyundai needs probably two cases, it's four, five cases. Yeah, I should probably get six cases of, uh, probably get six cases of Sunkist and we'll go through most of it. So next week we're gonna have a pretty big fill up. We're gonna be doing a lot of filling up next week. Monster's done. What am I gonna put there? I think I'm gonna put root beer there when uh, Monster eventually runs out. It's literally the same amount. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with um, Surge too. I've got like four crates of Surge. We're gonna have to put those on sale. Probably at the tire warehouse in West Leb. It's what I normally do when I stop carrying something. I just put it in the 50 cent rack for them. They love the 50 cent rack. So something I didn't do here that I could have done is I could have looked in my predictions at the van and just pulled out what the uh, what Vensoff tells me to pull out. And I'm gonna try that next time and see how it works out. Although we know that uh, we know that we're gonna need to put way more than normal for uh, Minute Maid and uh, Sunkist. So we're gonna pull this out. Way more coinage with this one. A lot more dollar bills too. Should have offered him the dollar bills again. I didn't didn't even think about it at this point. But uh, we had what do we have in dollar bills? I think we had like eighty nine dollars in bills. This is three weeks. Uh, if anyone wants to know, it's three weeks. We're gonna be doing one week collections uh, starting next week. Yeah, so the grand total was uh, 106.95 for the soda machine. So the total for the location was uh, 157.95 for three weeks, which is actually better than normal. Um, the, that's an increase compared to. Obviously, we have another machine there now, so it. Um, it should financially increase, but I think we would have been on track to make two hundred dollars at this location if we would have gone in for a month instead of uh, instead of uh, what do you call it three weeks. So that's a customer coming in. Uh, it's the first customer he's had in a while, so I just knocked on the window for him to let him know he was there. He comes in and says, uh, "Thanks for waking me up from my nap." <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. run through counting the change this is so inefficient I'm aware that it's inefficient and uh, comment below tell me what you think I should use should I use uh, a scale will a scale count different types of change I've never used one before so I'm not really sure how that works and uh, my coin sorter 
just sorts coins. It doesn't count them. So I need, if I'm gonna get a coin sort, and it needs to be, I need to be able to power it in the van with a 400 watt inverter. So it's one of those sort of deals, a little bit, or, or maybe a battery powered something, or something like that, I don't know. Make like a little coin station in the van. <laughs> as long as I can enter it in Vensoft before we move on to the next next locations, that uh, it'll work for me. We get all this counted out. I, uh, you guys are gonna see in the videos for the rest of the week. Uh, it's the same thing. Counting. I actually got kind of nervous at uh, the Subaru dealership. Um, a lot of right when I needed to step back just for a second the traffic was like really really slow and then I stepped back to do something for just a second and all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of people everywhere and I'm like uh ah, well, let's get back over to the counter and finish counting money I want to do it in the van but there's like no place to I need to clean the van I need to stop complaining about cleaning the van and just actually do it what I should do is find someone to <laughs> find someone to do a professional cleaning on it. Just pull everything out of it. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. If I could get it done for like a hundred bucks, I'd do it. But it's probably a lot more than that. It's a big van. So I think at this point we're entering everything in Vensoft. And yep, we're about to put it away. We gotta put it all back in the machine there. But uh, I wanna take a mental note when we go back here. We need to make sure we have plenty of Barks root beer because that's gonna, we're gonna need two cases to fill up this machine eventually. Um, I was asking him if he had lost any money. He said he didn't lose any money, which is good. I offered a couple of sodas just because I was there. I think ultimately I wound up leaving a couple for them guys are usually really good to me so try to give them a couple sodas every now and again it's funny because I uh, I closed the door to the machine and then I thought that I took the sodas out of the machine but I didn't we're gonna put that back in there oh no oh no <laughs> so I have one of those containers in the van that I forgot to put back in the machine at VIP oh well we'll see uh, We'll see that in Thursday's video. I think we'll see it in Thursday's video. So I think uh, I think we're all set. I'm going to open this machine back up real quick and make sure that I didn't pull any sodas out of it. Because I feel like I did. I could have put some new labels in there. Guys, make sure you check out the description below. Those uh, oval labels you can get from... Uh, my homie Ernie in the link below it's strange I haven't seen any traffic at all through there and I normally see a pretty good bit but you guys are welcome to go check it out uh, I am consistently ordering labels from him it's got really really awesome labels you can get candy machine labels you can get soda machine labels whole nine yards it's, uh, it's really great stuff he's got also, if you guys are going to be buying anything from Amazon in the next 24 hours, if you click on one of my links, I'll get a percentage of the sale. Um, and that's uh, super helpful. I uh, really do appreciate it for those of you who do. Now, we're just going to clean up a little bit here and call it a day. I put these crates underneath this time so I could access it a little bit easier the next time I need to. In all reality, uh, when we get to the VIP video, I could have unloaded the rest of that Mountain Dew. You guys know how many cases of Mountain Dew we went through this month? We went through like 17 cases of Mountain Dew. I think it's time to get a hold of Pepsi and uh, try to set something up with them. We went through a lot of Mountain Dew. Might just be because it's hot outside. I, I don't know. I can hear cicadas right now. It's supposed to be a cool day today. Cicadas in New Hampshire. Jeez, what's this world coming to? We had a wicked, wicked hot summer. I don't do heat well. I'm a polar bear. I want my 40 degree nights back, everyone. 
All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. Do me a huge favor, guys. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Really uh, appreciate you guys coming out to watch the videos. Daily content coming at you, Bear Squad. All right, guys. Peace out. Love life. Live your dreams.